Now it's time to profile a guy I really admire. Eddie Adepton is a television and sporting celebrity in the UK. He's also the face of the 2012 London Paralympic Games. Hey, what up? I'm Adia Depitan, ex-Paralympic basketball player, TV presenter and actor. Hell, I'll probably come around and fix your car for you if you want. Now, Attitude TV has come all the way to London, my hometown, to check out what's going down. So come inside and we'll have some fun. Peace. When I was 14, my friends were pushing me through the streets in the Tesco shopping trolley because that's how I used to keep up with everyone. You know, I couldn't like run as fast as my friends, so we thought we'd just get in trolleys. And um, these physiotherapists who worked at a disabled school, and they stopped me in the, tro in the shopping trolley and asked me if I'd like to play wheelchair basketball. And I looked at them and I thought, they're crazy, because I didn't think that people with disabilities could play sport. And they convinced me to go to Stoke Mandeville. Um, and I saw some guys from the Great Britain wheelchair basketball squad training. And what totally blew me away was I didn't see the chairs. I just saw how, that these guys were amazing athletes. They were flying up and down the court shooting three pointers, doing all kinds of awesome things, things that my friends at school would only dream of doing. And I looked at them and I thought, yeah, that's what I want to do. The way he moves the ball around is even more impressive when you know Nigerian-born Addy contracted polio when he was six months old. My parents brought me to England when I was three years old in 1976 because they realised that the medical facilities over here would be far better than, than in Nigeria so they saved all their money and brought me over and um, I started using calipers. So I wore calipers, if you've ever seen Forrest Gump, you know, like those iron calipers that he wore, and that's what I wore until I was 14. Eddie started dreaming of Olympic glory when he was a young boy. Yeah, when the letter came through the post that said, Adia Deputan, you're a member of the Great Britain Wheelchair Basketball Squad for the 2000 Olympics. I remember it was April 2000. Yeah, I was, I had tears, I was like, my heart was beating, I was just, it was a dream come true. <laughs> I was never any good at that. In his first Paralympic competition, there were no medals. But four years later, he was torchbearer for the Athens Paralympics. And he got the success he craved. In the quarter-final, Britain was up against world champions, the United States. They came away with bronze medals. I think I had a grin on my face for about four years after that. I still haven't stopped grinning from then. <laughs> that big smile and positive attitude got Addy another career in television. He's hosted kids programs and adventure travel shows. Two years ago I got asked um, to do this trek beyond boundaries where the BBC were going to send 11 people with disabilities to Nicaragua, um, Central America, to cross from one side of Central America to the other. Eleven of us started, I think only seven of us made it to the other end. I had to climb a live vol volcano which was 5,000 feet and I really wanted to get up to the top of the volcano. So I decided to get out of the chair and I crawled the rest of the way on my hands and knees for five hours. It was the most difficult thing I've ever done. Through all these experiences, Eddie has earned Britain's respect and even won a medal from the Queen. And I got a phone call, my mobile phone, and my, it was my sister. And she said to me, there's a letter just arrived at our house and it's like signed from um, Tony Blair from 10 Downing Street. And I was like, have I paid my taxes? You know, I was thinking, what, what's going on? Is there something going on here? Am I in trouble and that? And she said, like, Mum said, shall we open it? And I was like, well, go on then, open it. And so she opened it, and all I heard was my mum screaming in the background, and my sister going, oh my God, you've been, off, you've been put up for an MBE. Oh. Eddie's face is going to become even more prominent over the next <laughs> four years. He's been signed up as an ambassador for the 2012 London Olympics. I say to people, one of my messages to people is, you should try and surprise yourself all the time, you know, because that's the way you can empower yourself. So many people tend to see obstacles and that's all they see, you know, and, and, and I try to look past that. You know, you get people when they go out, they'll only see the clouds, they won't see the sunshine, 
you know, and I think it's really important that you can see past the clouds and you can see the sunshine. All the things I do, I still get so much enjoyment from playing basketball. It's the bomb, man. Thank <laughs> you.